What's up everybody, Alex here, and today on Extended Play we got something awesome. We've got Outer Wilds. This has been a game that has been on my radar for so long, I can't even believe I'm eating, I'm playing, I was gonna say I'm eating it. No, I'm eating marshmallows, I can't believe I'm even playing this game right now, I'm so excited. Um, so I've already done the tutorial, I gotta tell you how that ended. So basically I did the tutorial, ran around, did a bunch of stuff, finally! Unlocked the lift codes to get into my ship. This b absolute beauty here. How this is spacefaring, I have no idea. Look at this. It looks like a wine barrel was attached to the side. But you know what? Apparently this can go into space. And this is what happened. I got up in this thing. I flew to a planetesimal or something in the sky. And you know what I did? I wanted to explore it. As one would. So I got out. And died. Immediately. Why, you might ask? Well, because apparently if you're in space, you have to put this thing on. It's a suit. It's a space suit. And I didn't put the suit on, and therefore I completely died. So what I'm going to do is I am now going to explore. This is like legitimately the first time I can actually get a chance to explore. Now, this is legitimate first impressions. Um, I've only been playing for about 15 minutes, so I can't wait to explore with you guys. All right, so... We have a few options. I can get our signal scope out now, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show you guys the map. This is our solar system, and one thing that I will say is unlike, um, you know, uh, Elite Dangerous or No Man's Sky, which is very heavily uh, procedural, this is all handcrafted. Everything you see here has been designed. Someone put, you know, put their hand on every single element of this uh, solar system, and it's ours to explore. Now, where are we going to go? The signal scope will give us an idea of where things might be. Uh, you know, what might be happening? Okay, there's definitely something there. Is that music? Okay, there's music over there. Alright, let's go check out this thing here. So we're gonna lock in on it. Uh, there's a few different ways that we can, we can go. We can try and go ourselves. Or we can use autopilot. Now, this is like a six degrees of freedom type game where, you know, if, um... <laughs> if you're good, you can fly anywhere you want and, you know probably do a great job of landing wherever you want, but I'm horrible at flying, so I'm going to engage autopilot. Let's see what it can give us here. Now, also, while I, there's autopilot, I can take my seatbelt off, and I can walk around, um, but I might need to actually get in here and do something, so. All right, so the dark bramble. Oh, this looks like a forest? Okay, so I have no idea what this is, but I will say it's certainly fascinating, so I'm going to take off autopilot here, and I'm going to explore all right so this is by bramble it definitely this is like a tree bark type thing okay hold on okay let's go down here. Let's slow down let's slow down let's match the speed okay there's something in here what is it I is this the other side I don't think so. Okay, are we going towards the light? Is that the plan here? Oh, man. Okay, I... I don't... Whoa. Oh, I... I, do, I don't know what just happened. Am I, am I dead? Did I, something just eat me? Oh, I, I am dead. This is the exact same thing I saw when... Uh, when I got out of this ship without my helmet, what just happened? Something ate me. So there's obviously something going on in the Dark Bramble. You know what? I should have known. It, it had that, like, that creepy haunted forest look to it. And for some reason, I felt the need to dive in. Wow. That was something else. So here I am. Okay, so it looks like we're just we're just looping back over. All right. Okay, let's, let's get in there. I don't need any more marshmallows. Let's go explore. Uh... Do I want to go back to the dark ramble? Well, I just got murked there, so I don't know if I want to go back. I think I might want to check something else. I wonder... I wonder if I'm missing an item or something. Could I have... Okay, knowing that there's something there, I wonder if perhaps we can go in a little safer. But I found myself utterly confused. We could use our scout launcher. That's definitely an option here. Alright, so this is where we came from. There's a platform there near the sun. All right, so let's let's again get our signal scope out. What do we got? Yeah, that doesn't sound like much of anything. What else do we got? 
thought I, we had music at some point, right? Okay, that's music. Let's go. All right, autopilot, get us there. Look at the sun. Now, one thing that uh, you know, I, I love, I love the, the concept of this game because while I can appreciate, oh, I might crash with something. I'm, oh, I'm gonna fly through this planet. There's a giant hole in it. Whoa! All right, that is what is called a crash landing. So we did not go where I anticipated, but I think we're gonna have to stop here. That's not floor. Okay, hold on. Let's let's stop here and repair. Okay, let's just pull up right here. All right, I'm getting up. All right, that's the ground. I'm unbuckling. All right, let's let's repair. Um, oh, I almost made the same mistake twice. Suit up. Wow. All right, so we're on the surface of whatever this thing is. Okay, we gotta find whatever's hurt there. Okay, landing gear is hurt. Was there anything else? Hold on, I gotta get back in the ship. I didn't pay attention to the UI. Where's the thingy here? Okay, everything's repaired. It shows on the bottom left there. Good. All right. Open the hatch. Let's jump out. Okay, let's take a look here. All right, so there's... Oh, look. It looks like these... Uh, oh, no. I fell off. I fell off. Okay. Uh oh, boost, boost. Okay, wow. Okay, so these planets are definitely gravitationally bound. Wow, look at, look at how fast everything's moving. We are in a tight rotation. This is a tight orbit. Okay, let's let's go check this out here. Should I use my signal scope? This looks like a gun, but I don't think it has any actual shooting properties, but we are exploring something. Unidentified signal nearby. Oh, jeez. A cave shard with quantum fluctuations. Okay. What do I do with this thing? Oh, we can translate, so untranslated, uh, no my writing. Alright, some of us from the Sunless City are here to help search for Coleus. Can you tell us more about your expedition? What? Can you tell us more about your expedition? That's kind of... Whoa, 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 whoa! Did that rock just disappear? Okay. It's just gone. All right. Okay, let's use some jetpack here. I'm very glad that I have a jetpack, or else I would have fallen to my doom there. But I like how these two uh, these two astral bodies are are uh, gravitationally bound here. Whoa! Something tells me I shouldn't walk into that. That is sand or something. So I bet you that sand planet is much smaller than this one. That's what. That's the indication I have here. Okay. Should we check out what's over here? Signal scope. It doesn't show anything, but I feel like... Okay, we got the cave shard, apparently. Let's check this out here. An identified signal nearby. Alright. I can't get over how fast that... The orbit is here. It's dizzying. Okay. Well, I gotta keep track of how much oxygen I have as well. Okay, let's jump up. What is this? Is this a ship? Or is this like a beacon of some sort? Alright, hold on. Let's figure this out. Okay, there's... We go in here? Is this a window? What is this? Is this open? Oh, it is open. Oh, it's a recording. Untranslated recording. Can we do something with it? Equip translator. Translate. We need status reports from all systems, but initial readings first. Is everyone unharmed? Escape pause passengers are afraid, but physically well. Everyone survived the crash. So it's a relief. Okay, so there's clearly... This is some story stuff, so... It looks like they had to escape from something. What did they have to escape from? Alright. So, one thing I will add is I am on the Xbox edition here. 
Um, it came out on Xbox and it came out on PC, exclusive to the Epic Store, which I know is a contentious point for for many people. Um, hold on, what is? Can I read this thing? What is that? I'm not sure. All right, here we go. And I hit the wall. Oh my gosh! I just want to get to this thing up here. All right, here we go. Thank you. We got more text we need to translate. Escape pod 3 now launching. Escape pod 2. That's all it says. Okay, ship log updated. I might need to get back to the ship, actually. Alright, there's one more thing here. Oh, there's a few. There's a few things that need to be translated. Emergency hatch escape. See, I'm not sure what any of this really means. It's just like kind of like a scribble on the wall. This passage leads to breathable air. Okay. Um, is that true? Let me find out. Will I be able to breathe down here? How is there breathable air? Okay, so I am running low on oxygen, so that would be valuable. Oh, look at this. Okay. There, there's trees. In the vacuum of space. Something tell- like, I, I'm no scientist, but I- mm, Well, this game's not supposed to be scientifically accurate, that's for sure, but... Refill your air supply and return quickly. Okay, my air supply has been refilled. All right, that's good. Our ship is only 140 meters away, but this is very useful because at least it gives us an opportunity to refill our oxygen. Okay, let's continue exploring, but you know what? Maybe we'll get back in the ship. I feel like we might be able to get back in the ship here. Okay, so that's been red. So all the ones that are still blue have not been red yet. That's kind of what I gather. We have enormous cavern at the end of the passage that appears promising. Okay, that's probably the oxygen one. Okay, so this is a wise choice for shelter. I wonder if that's sand. I bet you it is sand. It looks drinkable, but definitely probably just sand. All right. Also, if you're on an alien planet, don't just drink any fluid that you come across. It could be methane. It could be any number of things. All right, so you know what? Let's get back to the ship. I, I'd like to continue exploring a bit. This is a lot of story stuff, and I like the story stuff, but... Oh, a plant. Can I do anything with the plant? I can't. I can take a picture of it. Okay. There's a picture of a plant for you. Alright. What's this dark passage? This looks like some scary... The, the teeth of a, bee, of a beast. Okay, hold on. Launch scout. Whoa! The, what is that? It's like the giant carcass of one of those, uh, one of those, like, things that go in the water. I can't even think of the name of it. Like, those fish with, like, the, the bulb on its head. Oh, someone in the comments hopefully can mention what that fish is and put, like, you know, so just we can look it up on Wikipedia or something. Alright. So, okay, let's get back to the ship. Now, I'm worried because now we're in a cavern with blocked off exits. And now I'm getting disoriented. Now I'm scared. Okay, we'll go out here. We'll go out the way we came, which is always a good bet. Except, I don't think we came in there. Did we come in here? No. We read that. Okay, hold on. Uh-oh. Am I stuck? Oh, that was a signal thing that I should have read. Okay, it's okay. I just suspect that I'm gonna die here. A lonely, lonely death. Alright, let's go this way. I saw an exit. This is the, the oxygen room, right? Alright, yes, the oxygen room. Can I jetpack all the way to my ship? It's a good thing I dodged that. Alright, hold on. Jetpack time. Whoa! Alright, not bad, not bad. But... Oh, no! No, don't fall. Okay, don't fall off the face of the planet. Don't fall off the face of the planet. This, okay, this is bad. This is not good. Oh, I'm falling. Thank you. Gravity, the savior. That was legitimately concerning. Wow, this sun is going really fast. And look, there is, there is a space station or something there. Should we try and get to it? Maybe we should try and get to that space station. All right, we're getting back to the ship. Oh, am I going to overshoot this? Definitely got to practice the controls, I think. All right, so we're back up. I'm going to take the suit off. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, let's take the suit off. Whew. That was stressful. Ship log. Yeah, I went to the quantum caves. 
yeah, we got some escape pods. Oh, I see. So it's kind of like... Is this kind of piecing together the story a little bit? I'm sure as I play more, the ship log will make more sense. Alright, let's buckle up here. We are trying to get to the Ash Twin. Are we going to try and get to the Ash Twin? Alright, let's just lift off. Alright, hold on. Okay, we're in a pretty good position to perhaps go to this Ash Twin here. If I don't crash land, well, I am going to crash land. Okay, it's fine. And I'm sideways. Pin to the ground. Pin to the ground and unbuckle. Alright, there we are. We did it. We landed. Put the suit back on. Alright, let's see what's here. Okay, so now we're on the other side. So, oh, look. So this view gives us an indication that... So that larger planet is pulling all of the sand into its core. I wonder if I, if I get in that tunnel... I'll go into the center of that planet, I bet. Alright, but let's just check this stuff out first. So I have a flashlight. I don't really need the flashlight right now. Okay, signal scope. Oh, it's saying that I missed something over there. Okay, that's the cave shard. We know about that. Alright, let's see what's over here. The rotation. <laughs> I know I've mentioned it a few times, but the rotation is so jarring. It really gives like this incredible sense of speed. What is this? There's definitely a sense of mystery to all this. It's like there's mysteries that need to be uncovered, and I've not yet uncovered them. Alright, is there something I can do here? Quantum fluctuations. Okay, unknown. But is that... That's really far away. Is there something close by? It doesn't appear so. Should I sh shoot the scout launcher? So I retrieve the scout. You know what? I'm going to launch it towards... Where's that space station at? Ooh, look at that thing. All right, hold on. Can I see the space station or are we on the wrong side? Okay, watch this. Let's launch the scout. Let's see what it's going to see here. That's the front. This is the sun. No. Can't see anything. Okay, scout, you keep going where you're going. No, I'll just retrieve it. Okay. Should I die? Okay, I'm going to get in this thing. Let's see what happens. Why not, right? We've already- I've already died, so obviously I- it's not that big a deal if I die again. Oh, look, there's- is that like a- what is that? Okay, let's check that out first. Then we'll dive into the- the sandstorm. The root sandstorm. I'm gonna have to listen to that after this. Alright, hold on. Can we get up there with a jump? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's go! Oh, low gravity! Let's you just do magic in the air, and we're up. All right, what do we have here? And that is a glowing floor. This is something. Am I not doing something here? There's got to be some way to interact with this stuff, no? Why are you so mysterious? Okay, hold on. I almost want to just take in the view. Well, we can't. Okay, there's some... Some plants. Oh, and again, the vacuum of space. These plants are resilient. I'm, I'm running here. What, what are we finding? What are we finding? Looks like some sort of tunnel. Or door. What is this? Open! Open! No, it's not gonna open. How dare you not listen, door? Okay. Well, that was uneventful. There's got to be a way to get in there. But I've, I don't know what I could be doing now. All right. Also, I'm super far from my ship, but oh well. I want to get in that sand thing next time it comes around. But there's got to be a way. There just has to be a way to interact with some of these things. Uh, should I try and jump up there? No, I'm scared I'm going to jump into the sun. Can I run up there? Okay, so here's the same room. The top's been blown off. Top is kind of put together. Okay, let's run up the side here. Let's see what we get. Alright. I'm trying to jump. There we go. Oh, there's a teleporter there. Is there anything in this side? Before we take the teleporter, is there anything in this side? 
No. Oh, I'm gonna get the teleporter before this thing sucks me up. Teleporter. What up? Okay, where am I? Oh. All right, I'm I'm in the sand thing. Thanks, teleporter. Uh, am I still in the sand thing? It just shot me out. Oh, I'm on the other planet now. Oh, that must have hurt. But I'm so far from my ship. It's 300 meters away. I, how could I possibly get back there? Oh no! All right, I got, I got three minutes of oxygen. I know somewhere on this planet is a. Uh, the the oxygen thing, the the trees. Where are the trees? Okay, cave shard. All right, it was near the cave shard. Let's get to the trees and maybe we can make a better plan. It's getting red. That sun is definitely... Maybe it's because we're just close. All right, hold on. Okay, where's this cave shard at? Okay, 86 meters. See, that's the problem, though. I don't, I don't know, dude. Is there a plan for me to get back to the ship? I'm not sure. All right, now it's dark because the sun just... <laughs> Honestly, the, the nighttime effects are pretty sweet. I mean, these planets are rotating and orbiting so fast that the fact that there's a working... All right, hold on. Can I make that jump? A 500 meter jump? Okay. Let's try it. Okay, that's 150 meters, I think. Oh, no. Oh, okay. I thought I was just overshooting the planet by like some wide degree. All right, I don't know. I don't know if I have a plan here, guys. I gotta be honest. I don't know if I can get back to my ship. Yeah, okay, this, this sun is definitely red. Alright, let's see. Okay, where is the cave? The cave's this way. Oh, I moved so far from it. Can I swim? Okay, should I try and jump in that water? It's not water, it's sand. Should, can I run on the sand? Let's find out. Hey, it's like solid sand. The galaxy 30... I know, 60 seconds. I know... What's up? Don't... Okay, come on. Okay, these are trees. Breathe them! Breathe the trees! No, why aren't you breathing the trees? I missed the cave. I think we're gonna suffocate here, guys. And I'm sorry. It didn't have to end this way. It really didn't. But I think it's going to. No. Oh, the humanity. Oh, I guess, you know what though, this is the fate, this is the fate I, I deserve. After being reckless with my oxygen. I'm choking. And I'm done. But you know what, this was a great first look. I have, I gotta tell you, Outer Wilds, it, it's, it's calling to me in a way that is rare amongst other games. Here we go, and we're resurrecting again by some fabulous means. Here's our here's our recap of the story. And you know what? I gotta say, this game's got potential. I gotta play more of it. Anyhow, I hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful day. Thank you for joining me. Take care, and bye-bye.